Welcome to the video tutorials of the book Methods, Evaluation and Research in Education by Muhammad Akhtaruzzaman and today we are going to learn how to do statement wise category percentage, weighted average and chi-square test in SPSS. Let's go through an example. A researcher conducted a study on the impact of computer-aided instruction CAI on student achievement and he took opinions of a group of 14 students based on 5-point Likert scale. In this case, the scale is defined as 1 for strongly disagree, 2 for disagree, 3 for undecided, 4 for agree and 5 for strongly agree. The opinion consisted of three questions or statements. On the first statement, CAI is interesting than traditional method of instruction, which is in short TMI, where no student strongly disagreed, two students disagreed, one student undecided, one student agreed and finally 10 students strongly agreed. Similarly, you can interpret the second and third statement of the questionnaire. Now, we will do statement-wise category percentage, weighted average and chi-square test for all the three statements. Let's see the SPSS data editor window at the screen. Now, go to file then open data and then data file under SPSS evaluation folder and open the file weighted average and chi-square in the SPSS data editor. The file is shown in SPSS editor in the data view. Let's see the variable view of the data. There are three questions, question 1, question 2 and question 3 which are of numerical type and in ordinal scale of measurement. In the label column, you have to give the descriptions about the corresponding questions. In the values column, you have to define the five-point scale. You don't have to define the scale in each cell under values column. Rather, you just write one time, then copy it and paste it where it is required. In that case, you may have to decrease the decimals from the default value 2 to 0. Now, go back to the data view of the SPSS data editor. You see the questions at the top of each column and also see the opinion of the 14 respondents on these three questions. You can change the data view pattern by clicking the value labels icon which is third from the right at the toolbar just below the menu bar. Each respondent has to go through each of the questions and give their opinions on the five-point scale. Now, go to Analyze menu, then Descriptive Statistics, then Frequencies. Select all the statements and click the arrow button to take all the statements to the variables field. Now, Click the statistics button below and select mean from the central tendency. Click continue and then press OK. See the output at the screen. The weighted average mean for the first statement for example is 4.36 and on this statement 14.3 percentage disagree, 7.1 percentage undecided 7.1 percentage agree, 71.4 percent strongly agree among the respondents. As the weighted average WA value is within the range of 4.5 to 3.5, which is in the label of agree, the responses on this statement are statistically significant. Similarly, you can interpret the second and third statement of the questionnaire. Let's see the chi-square test for these statements. 
Again, go to Analyze menu. Go to Analyze menu, then Non-Parametric Tests, then Chi-Square Test. Select all these statements and click the arrow button to take all these statements to the test variable list. Now, click OK. See the test statistics table at the screen. For testing the hypothesis, SPSS needs only the SIG value to be compared with 0 0.05. It does not require any other things like degrees of freedom, confidence interval, etc. For the first statement, ASIMP SIG value is 0 0.001, which is less than 0 0.05. It indicates that the null hypothesis, which means there is no difference between the category-wise responses on this statement, is rejected. That means research hypothesis is accepted. So, the responses on this statement are statistically significant. You can do the same interpretation manually by using the calculated chi-square value 16.286 the degrees of freedom 3 and the level of significance 0 0.05. The details of it are described in chapter 7 of the book. Similarly, you can interpret the second and third statement of the questionnaire with respect to chi-square test. However, in many cases it is observed that the researcher uses the category percentage weighted average and chi-square test together to draw better interpretations of the test results. Hope now you can do the same test by yourself. Thank you for staying with us. It's Yazdani saying you goodbye.